Guild Wars 2 is not pay to win. And here's why. I went to Lion's Arch and asked in the map chat if Guild Wars 2 is pay to win. And people clearly said that it is not. So as you can see, chat approves that the game is not pay to win. Okay, so what is pay to win? According to Google, pay to win is defined as games in which you get an advantage in the game if you spend real money on items, weapons, or features, and are thus clearly superior to other players. This is not the case in Guild Wars 2. You can't buy weapons, armor, or anything that gives you a power boost from the gem store. Now, if we look at the short answer, Google obviously says, without hesitation, no. Okay, so now let's see what ChatGPT has to say about this. Since we know that this thing is quite outdated since September 2021, it considers Guild Wars 2 not to be a pay to win game. So ChatGPT approves. Okay, now in my opinion, pay to win is anything that can give you a competitive advantage over other players in modes where competition plays a major role. For example, if there's a leaderboard in raids and players can buy, let's say, outfits for real life money that provides them additional stats, then this is pay to win. If PvP was affected by buffs that you can buy from the gem store, then this is also pay to win. And you get the point. So McDaddy also approves. Okay, if you're still not convinced, let's dig deeper, shall we? To begin with, it is very important to keep in mind that anything that is available in the gem store can be purchased with gold. This works by converting in-game gold into the real-life money currency called gems. Okay, let's talk about mounts. Now, even though some mounts are locked behind expansions like the Skimmer, Jackal, Springer, and the Siege Turtle, these mounts are not so commonly used by players and are situational. The most important mount that you will need will be the Skyscale. And you can get that by buying Living World Season 4 from the gem store using your gold. You will also get the Roller Beetle, so free-to-play players will still have access to mounts. Now, you might say, okay, but Masteries will still be locked behind expansions. No, this takes me back to my reasoning. Pay to win is only something that gives a competitive advantage, and Masteries really don't. They are just a way to encourage players to buy expansions and allow the game to make money and prosper. The only extremely tiny advantage that players with an expansions have over players who don't is that if you play world vs world, the war claw can be slightly faster than you are, even with a speed buff. Okay, now let's address the big elephant in the room, and this is expansions. Are they considered pay to win, or are they not? Well, short answer is no, they're not. And this is because the game initially had a buy to play model, and then they changed this to a free to play with purchasable expansions, and they always marketed themselves this way. They didn't pull off something like other games have done, where they would say that the game is going to be pay to win free on release, then suddenly one year later they start adding gacha boxes that reward you with exclusive gear, or even a special premium subscription that you pay on a monthly fee to get additional in-game benefits. Expansions are just additional content that comes outside the base game, and if you want to experience said content, then you have to pay for it. Consider the core game as a free trial, and if you want to explore even more, then you have to pay for it. Okay, now let's talk about gear and builds. When it comes to gear, everyone should know that Ascended Armor and Legendary Armor, which are the two highest tier gears in the game, they share the same stats, and you do not get a power boost if you're using one over the other. The only difference is that legendary gear provides you with more convenience, like changing stats whenever you need it, without having to get another set of gear. They are still not compulsory to pull off big damage in the game, and you can do that just by having ascended gear, which is obtainable as a free-to-play player. So, is Guild Wars 2 pay to win, or is it not? Well, no. The game is pay for convenience, and is not pay to win. Most things in the game can be obtained with gold, with the exception to the expansions, which are DLCs meant to bring more content to the game to keep it fresh and alive, and obviously will be paid for. So, what do you guys think? Is Guild Wars 2 pay to win, or is it pay for convenience? Please leave it down in the comments below, I'm excited to see how this boils down. 
Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, peace.